Hi, welcome to the Essential TDD course. This is Bala Paranj from rubyplus.com. The objective for this lesson is to learn about canonical test structure. You must have Ruby 2.0 or above and a text editor installed. You should have finished the previous lesson of this course. According to the dictionary, the term canonical is defined as relating to a general rule or standard formula. The standard formula to write a test has three steps. They are given. This is the first step. Given is the precondition. The system is in a known state in given step. When. This is the second step. We exercise the system under test in the when step. Then, this is the third step. This is the post condition. We check the outcome is as expected in then step. This is also called as arrange, act, assert, or triple A. Instead of thinking about how do I write a test, ask yourself the following questions. What is the given condition? How do I exercise the system under test? How do I verify the outcome? The answers to these questions will help you write the test. These questions correspond to each step in the canonical structure. Te Pfft. Cut. The answers to these questions will help you write the test. These questions correspond cut. The answers to these questions will help you write the test. These questions correspond to each step in the canonical test structure. So what is the given condition corresponds to given. How do I exercise the system under test corresponds to when. How do I verify the outcome corresponds to then. For example, if you have a class called car, you need to have fuel in order to drive the car. The give cut. Let's uh, give this concept a uh, context so you can understand. For example, if you have a class called car, you need to have fuel in order to drive the car. The given condition in this case is that it has fuel. The drive is the behavior you're testing. So you invoke drive method on the instance of a car in order to exercise a system under test. In our case, the SUT is the car. When you drive, you expect to travel, so you can verify the outcome by checking the distance traveled in the odometer. Identify the given when then steps for multiplication and division of the calculator.rb. In this lesson, we used an utility AAA.rb to identify the canonical test structure. These training wheels are not required once you understand the structure of a test. If you have difficulty in writing a test, you can use the three questions we discussed to guide you in writing a test.